here has ever created an expectation for another human being? Who here has ever created an expectation for another human? Never shared the expectation with them. And then when they don't fulfill the expectation that they know nothing about, who do you get mad at? How does that make sense? There's so many automatic things. See, can I have a helper? I just need somebody to raise their hand. I could, you, okay, stay, all you need to do is stay in there. Ready? I'm going to do what we do all the time as humans. Ready? Okay, here we go. Why didn't you do it? What's wrong with you? Okay, so I created an expectation that she would go YMCA and then put her hands down. Did I tell her the expectation? Is there any way that she knew what I wanted her to do? So do I have any right to be upset at her? So why do we do that with everybody in our lives? How many of you have expectations for the parents of your kids? Expectations like they're gonna pick their kids up on time. <laughs> Expectations like they're gonna call you back. Expectations like they read the daily report that you spent so much time on. But it's insane, this is one of the things, See, here's the problem, parents do the same thing to you. Parents create expectations that they're gonna send their kids to you amazing educators. You're gonna teach them discipline and structure and how to follow the rules so that when they get home, they're gonna be like in Mary Poppins. Hello mother, hello father, may I do the chores today? Thank you so very much. Right, it's crazy. But then the parent takes the kid, hands them the iPad, and then they wonder why their kids are all over the place. See, we do that all the time. What we do when we create an expectation is we say one word, and that sets us up for upset. The word should. Everyone say should. Good. You should all over yourself every day. You should on other, S-H-O-U-L-D, okay? We do that all the time. How many of you have a significant other that you should all over? You create expectations for them, never tell them, and then when they don't do it, you're mad at them. She's got two hands and a foot up in the air. Oh, there you go. She's either gonna have an amazing relationship or no relationship at this point. Which is either way, it's all good. So whenever you catch yourself, let's actually practice this. Think about a person in your life, okay? Create an expectation for how they should be in your mind. Think about them not being that way and what happens in your body. You get upset, but do you realize that you do that to yourself? Anybody ever watch TV and somebody says something on the TV and you're mad at them and then you change the channel and they don't even know you exist and you're still mad at them? <laughs> Being mad at somebody is like you drinking poison waiting for them to die. Does that make sense? You having a grudge towards someone is you drinking poison waiting for them to die. So how does it benefit you to stay mad at somebody? How many of you create expectations for your kids? How many of you create an expectation you'd have seats here? How's that working? Right, so you can either choose to let it upset you or you can just let it go, let it go. Have you ever heard that song? How many, of you, how many of you thought you'd never get Let It Go out of your head and then Baby Shark came out? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos. Ron Schwali here, just wanted to say I appreciate you. If feel free to like, subscribe, and click on the bell if you want to see more videos coming your way to be alerted. Just thank you so much and feel free to share this content with anybody who you think would find some value from this. Have an awesome, joyous, wonderful, breath-filled rest of your day.